Oh, good evening and welcome to the preview for uh, <coughs> Sha Tin tomorrow. Interesting card. Obviously, the massive jackpots in play. Uh, it's 11 races, so jackpots on 5, 6, and 7. There's also a small jackpot in the um, 6 up. Looks one, the very skinny legs, small field, 2400, uh, designed by range. Probably going to start about fives on. Should beat these pretty comfortably, so it's virtually a five up rather than a six up. Um, the TT, well, they're never easy, and uh, we start with a tough one in the opening leg, but we'll get to that shortly. Uh, looking at the opening races, uh, race one on race, we're not interested. We go to race two. Not a lot of depth in this race. Uh, the one looks the one to beat. Very big run effort. Last start, big effort. Um, now drawn well. It's the one to beat. The five, Prosperity Athon. Uh, it's trialled well. Marira stuck with it and got after the trial. So it's been working well. I think it's going to be in the finish. Uh, happily time, it's another one. It had uh, a bit of a break and uh, been working well. Purton, well drawn. And after that, probably eight, two, and three, and maybe the 11 at a price. Uh, I think one very hard to beat from five and four, small chances to eight, two, three, and 11. Race three, unraced, so we pass. We go to race four. Tony Boy's trialled well, been working well. It's got a marble, bit of luck in running it. Sharp Hunter, um, the draw. Won't help its chances, but the 52 kilos is a, is a plus, so it must go in. Um, bullish smart, it's won its last couple. This is no harder against these. Most of these are out of form. 12, 10, 2 look best of the rest. Again, a race that does lack a little bit of depth. Four on top from 14 and 9, chances to 12, 10, 2. We go to the opening leg of the uh, TT, 2200 metre race, dangerous races these. Never get two wins in a row, rarely at this distance. It's not a distance that they run a lot at, so a lot of these will, will be struggling. I've ended up leaving eight horses in. Um, there's a couple of borderline ones that uh, we may try and play a cheap ticket to include on a spare ticket, but not on the main ticket. Very difficult to try and find a banker here, just looking for trouble, I think. Uh, they're just too inconsistent, these horses. Surrounded one well enough last start at 2,000, going away on the line, so it gives every indication that 2,200 is going to be no problem to it. It's drawn well to get a good run, so uh, I think it's got a good chance. Activism's placed at the tree. It's drawn well, you know it'll stay out, so um, I think uh, it definitely goes in. Dragon Bachelor comes back to this level again, 2200. Uh, it's drawn well, it's got to go in. Hey, hey, Posh, uh, it's well credentialed at the 2200. Runs its best races at the Valley, but at least it'll run the trip. Golden Scalpel, interesting one, this one. Um, missed the start badly last start, come flying home. Got beaten a couple of lengths. They probably missed it by five or six at least. Uh, they've gone to the trials and a very soft trial. Now, it's not gone this trip before, uh, but with a bit of tempo in this, expect it to be running home. Left in Super Strike, Ocean Power, and Mr. Marpark, another one that goes better at the Valley, but at least it will run the 2200. Um, very tough opening leg. If we can negotiate our way through this, I think we're a legitimate chance from here. Um, 12, 2, 5, 1, 7, 4, 6, and 13. We go to race 6. Not a lot of chances in this, I don't think. Uh, Royale Elegance, uh, the barrier. Had a draw on a barrier, would have banked it. Uh, I don't want to be banking things from the outside draw. Uh, but it's uh, last run, it's turned the corner, this horse, it can win again. Uh, faster more, it should have won two of its last three. Uh, threw the last one away, running out to the middle of the track, taking the blinkers off. Uh, he's taken it at the trials, it trialed well. It's a definite winning chance. Democles, it got knocked over last start, got beaten a length, gets a clear run, it would have won easy. So it must go in. 
Uh, Mark II uh, won this time last year, yeah, one third up last year. This will be its best run. Barrier 10, no favours, but if it can get it across into a, into a spot somewhere, must go in. Uh, drag, an interesting one, this one. Its last run was pretty solid. And uh, Barrier 13, no favours, but uh, a lot of these are just badly out of form. So they look the best five chances, uh, two, four, nine, seven, and eight. So we'll probably be working around them. Then I've given on the secondary line chances till 5, 1, uh, 10, and 12. We'll try and work them in on a ticket somewhere else. Uh, nine horses we've left in in the race as possible place chances. I, I think out of uh, 2, 4, 7, and 9, you'd be reasonably confident that two of these will fill a hole. So we may be looking at something along those lines. The final wash up. Two, four, nine, seven, eight. They, they look the main five chances. And then uh, on the place line, five, one, ten, and twelve. We go to the last leg. Um, again, not a race where I think there's a lot that can actually win the race. But there are a couple of sort of $15, $20 shots that uh, could end up running into the placings. I think the winning chances, six, eleven. Four, eight, and five. I think they're the only ones that can win the race. Um, probably from a six-up point of view, they're the only ones we'll put in. Uh, Let me go. It's ready to win. It's got a good draw. All he's got to do is negotiate a clean passage over the last 250. It'll be right and finish. Keen Tactics, interesting one. This one at a price. Uh, every time this thing draws, horror draws for seven of its last eight runs. Um, now it's drawn a decent marble with no weight. It'll be in the finish. Winning instinct sat five wide last time. Just kept coming late. It'll be improved by the run. Must go in. Uh, Jager bomb. Preble goes on. That's a plus. And club life. They've got a soft lead last time from an inside draw. It's probably going to have to work a bit harder here. Uh, but if he can get it across fairly quickly um, and they leave it alone, Although there's a couple in here that have got a bit of speed. It's hard to imagine it getting a soft run, but it's got some hope. And then on the place line at a price, I've left in uh, 13, 12, and 14, which we'll probably try and work into a ticket somewhere. But the main, really the main three chances for me are a, a 6, 11, and 4. I think uh, they they look the best three winning chances and then behind that eight and five on the secondary line and then uh, for a place line only 13 12 9 and 14 tough race we go to race eight no depth at all here designs on own high high water horse should beat these um i suppose the only way they can beat it is if it gets knocked over or something happens to it if it, something does go wrong only dominant get it I don't think anything else has got much chance. Um, not a really problem. Six of them. One. One from three and two. Four next best. We go to race nine. Good race. A lot of chances here. Uh, big four. It's been knocking on the door for a while now. Never gets any luck, this horse. Uh, it's drawn bad again. It's going to go back. There's a bit of speed here, so, um, but it's going to need it because it'll be coming from a long way back. But the A course, that'll give it its chance. Sichuan exec, it's going to be right up on the speed from barrier two. It goes in. Brilliant shine. This is improving, and barrier one's a big plus. It must go in. Good choice. Big effort last start. And uh, wouldn't need to improve much to give this a shake. So it goes in. Great Sky, it's the only other one that I think uh, we include on the win line. Uh, it's badly drawn, but it'll be charging late. Uh, Numero Uno Disciples, well, they're more on the place line. I don't think they can win the race. Uh, four from two and nine, ten, seven. Place line, three, eleven. We go to race ten. Good race, this. Uh, this is about as good a sprint field as uh, they're going to get together. Uh, they're just about all here. Uh, Charles the Great, this is racing terrific at the moment. Uh, the weight may be the only concern, but there's a lot of speed here, and um, he's just going to camp on this. 
Uh, its last win was huge coming from a mile away. He shouldn't be anywhere near that far back. The only danger is he could get cluttered up here. So he's going to have to ride a decent race, but it's uh, it's the one to beat. Golden Harvest, been waiting for this to go to Chartin. He's been running it around at Happy Valley and giving them massive starts. With the speed on here with 51 kilos, it's going to be storming home. It's about 10 or 14 to 1, 10, 12, 14 to 1 at the moment. That's way over the odds in my opinion. This got a terrific winning chance. Uh, number 13, Golden Harvest. Divine 10, 1,000 metre horse. Um, the query is going around the bend, never been around the bend before, and plus the thousand. Gotta be favourite, but I want to be on as favourite. Uh, we may even leave it out altogether, I don't know yet, we'll have a closer look at it. Um, there are a couple of short legs there tomorrow, to me this is a risky favourite. Um, so we'll consider that. Uh, but it's in it's thousand metre forms, terrific. Uh, the, the query, as I say, around the bend, wide draw with a lot of speed in the race. It can't get to the front, so that that's, could cause it some problems. Uh, smart volatility. Um, they put the blinkers on this. Uh, pretty smart horse. It's trialled well along with Aero Velocity. They both trialled very well. Uh, Aero Velocity is badly drawn, so. These two will probably go forward and set up the tempo with bullish friends. So, as you can see, there's three or four front runners here. So, I think this race is going to suit something camped, uh, which is why I sort of lean to one and 13 as the main two goes. I found one here at a bit of a price. I think it's got a good chance. Number 11, best 11. Got beaten an eyebrow on this race last year by Charles the Great. Now it's in, it's got nine kilos off it. Uh, from barrier one, uh, I think we're compelled to put this one in at a big price. This is the blowout horse. If this manages to fluke by some miracle, uh, it's going to kill everybody in the six up. And may even give us a bit of value because there are going to be a couple of short legs. So we're going to need something at a price. So it goes in for me. If it was a toss up between putting in Divine 10, the favourite, and it, I'd, I'd probably lean to put the 11 in ahead of the five and risk the favourite here. Um, they appear the only winning chances for me. I've got one and 13 clearly on top. I'm happy to go those as the, as the main two on the main ticket. Um, then 11, the six, the 10, and as I said, perhaps risk the five. I'll talk to the boys tomorrow and see what, uh, what the consensus is. Um, we're never worried about risking favorites. So, uh, this has got enough crosses against it to uh, to take a chance. 1 and 13 clear. Uh, 5, 6, 10 and 11, best of the rest. We go to the last. C Diamond, I think this is ready now. His last run was a beauty. Um, just peaked about the 100 metre mark. He's worked well since then. Drawn well. It's the one to beat. Victory Master, the stable mate, it's working well. Race is best like this. Needs a bit of a gap between runs. It's got it. Nice piece of track work the other morning. Just enough to get a cherry ripe for this. I think they're the main two in the last. I'm happy to go those two only um, on the main ticket. I've only left in 11 Roman Soldier and 12 Fabulous November is the only other two winning chances for me. I think a few of these have got too many convictions. Um, so I'm happy. I'm happy to go that way. Eight and four bankers, save a ticket 11 and 12. From a quartet point of view, if we decide to go in the last, uh, which we probably will in this case, because there is a bit of value for the placings, I've given the one a chance, three, five, nine. Um, certainly uh, at the front, C Diamond, Victor must have probably to win the race. It's an interesting day. The jackpots will be uh, there for us to... Finally, hopefully, get a little bit of luck go our way. Uh, good luck to everybody. I hope you have some success over the weekend, and uh, let's hope this time tomorrow night we're all in a in a very cheerful and uh, happy mood. Thank you, guys.